And that is an epic intro for you. If you haven't noticed, I am going to be playing Batman Arkham City, and I'm actually going to be doing something with games, because I'm a gamer, as my title would suggest. I'm playing Batman Arkham City. Goatee? Gotti? Goatee. Goatee. Yes, T. Goes T's. I love the letter T. Go T. Gotti. Gotti. Game of the Year. G O T Y. I'm just going to call it G O T Y or Game of the Year. Here it is. It's epic. And, um, back, at, it's rated teen, I'm, I'm trying to keep my content, you know, at least teen rated, I, well, with my commentary, it's, there's not gonna be any inappropriate, I'm keeping it E10, at least, in my commentary, but the game is T, I'm never gonna do anything T or higher in my gameplays, um, for starting today, on July 1st, but better to do the first gameplay on the, on the first, and, uh, you, you can, you can be quiet, uh, game background, I don't need you right now. Go be quietness. Okay, thank you. Um, so, um, it, the Game of the Year edition has a whole bunch of DLC in it. It, um, with it, it has, um, the Hardy Quinn's Revenge, uh, Catwoman, the Catwoman pack, the Robin bundle pack, the Nightwing bum bundle pack, the Arkham City Skins pack, the Challenge Map pack, and it has a digital movie, which I'm not going to be showing to you, because, you know, Sopa, Peepa, typewriter stuff, just playing the entire movie wouldn't be very much fun. So, uh, uh, I did try to make a video, well, an opening video earlier, but it failed, so I'm going to be doing it again, and making it better, hopefully, probably, yes, I'll, I'll make it better than what it was, because I'm awesome, ish, well, anyway, I think, um, yeah, you, you, you better start playing, and I, since I did see the opening cutscene already, um, uh, I just might want to warn you that for those who might experience epileptic seizures by flashing lights and loud noises and flashing lights and awesomeness that may be experienced during this awesome game, um, yeah, don't watch this because there is a lot of stuff for the people who have seizures that might cause seizures, so if you have seizures, don't, don't watch this. There's brightness and awesomeness that, that, yeah, seizure-causing capabilities not not fun. So, um, it, it is a sequel to a game. Yes, why, you might be asking yourself, Logan, why aren't you playing Arkham Asylum? This prequel to this game and the one that would actually make sense so that there's actually a storyline to it. Well, to that question I say, because I have already beat Arkham Asylum. I beat it today. And then I went and picked up Arkham City today. Because it's awesome. And Asylum was awesome. And if you want to know the full story, go play Asylum. And, um... I'm going to give you a short synopsis in case if you don't want to go through the entire game and play all of Asylum. And, um, spoiler alert! So, yes, big spoiler alert. I'll put in a time when the spoiler alertness. Well, the need for spoilers. The need for spoiler alerts and the spoiler is going to put that in right about now. Anyway, so Batman Arkham uh, Asylum. Basically, you start off taking the Joker back to the Asylum, which is where they keep all the big supervillains and just normal insane people and it turns out that there was a fire at Blackgate uh, prison that Joker hint hinted that he caused um, to break out all of his goons that were kept in Blackgate and move them to Arkham so then basically he and all the other supervillains take control of Arkham Asylum and everyone goes free and is running wild and so basically you play through the game defeating a whole bunch of bad guys that you know from playing the game well, for, if you're a Batman fan, you know all the bad guys who they are, and, um, you, you, you should, like, the main bad guys, that you, you're gonna know them. You, you would know them if you played the game, and a lot of them make reappearances in this game. Yeah, you fight them, and, and it's pretty awesome, and it turns out Joker, um, went to, went, locked himself, basically, in Arkham Asylum, because there was this, um, you know, Bane, the, the really buff guy, he's powered by Venom, and, um, so he, he turned that Venom, and he made it into Titan, formula that uh, made people like super strong like stronger than Bane and they didn't require the storage tanks you just injected it it was like superhero steroids like Captain America thing just, just stronger without the whole chamber well it's not in World War 2 and Batman is better than Captain America because DC well I wouldn't say DC is better than Marvel but Batman is my favorite superhero because he's Batman and I'm Batman so yeah um so basically, then you go defeat Joker, he turns a couple of inmates into giant 
titan induced hulking things that you take down with relative ease and then basically once you stop almost all of his plans with through a various amount of awesomeness joker when it goes suicidal the joker never really goes suicidal he loves killing people too much he's insane so he goes ah i've got nothing to live for and puts a venom inducer thing up to his chin and shoots and then it's the venom induced joker and he yeah really easy boss of the game let me just tell you that probably one of the easiest parts of the game yeah i know it doesn't really make much sense but the the pre-bosses which is two venom induced well titan sorry titan induced goons with a whole bunch of other goons is harder than just titan joker which really wasn't that difficult but that's beside the point so now it's time to go um play arkham city which is awesome and well i had yeah, the opening cuts was awesome so basically i'm gonna play the opening cut scene and um leave you from cliffhanger because totally love so yes um if you the, the video quality is gonna stink i'm gonna tell you that right up front um i rec and the editing not that good i do everything here upload video uh, tape it edit it upload it with an ipod touch and uh, speaking of ipods let us just have a moment of silence for steve jobs Okay, down to that moment is done. Um, let us begin. And here we go. That, that's good, right? Okay, I get that. Let's do this. Okay, I did something that made it all black and whitish. And I pressed something and I don't know what it was. So I, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go and try to get that all figured out. Okay, yeah, whatever. I really, yeah, just, I don't care. I hope you don't either. Gonna bring this bit. Normal is good, um, and let's do this, because Batman is awesome. Ah! Wake up, Mr. Wayne. We have much to discuss. Strange. You won't get away with this. I already have. This is Vicki Vale, reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. In a few moments, Bruce Wayne will be live on stage to explain his sudden interest in Gotham politics. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one to... Billionaire, Let me 
Well, sorry, what? Well, that's it for today, tonight. I'll try to make a video every day. Um, try to keep it around 15 minutes, probably shorter. Um, I apologize for video quality. I hope you enjoy. Um, like, well, an iPod, it's up, down on the computer, so like, comment if necessary, subscribe, make me feel awesome. I only have one subscriber right now, and if you are that one subscriber watching this, thank you for making me feel awesome. If you're not that one subscriber, subscribe, make me feel awesome. That's all for today. I am now going to enjoy that would be a float it's over there. Peace. Well, not peace. A lot of people use peace for exiting the videos, and I'm not going to steal that. I'm just going to say bye. Yeah. Adios. It's, it's Spanish for goodbye. And so, if you if you English, if you speak English and you don't know Spanish, adios is goodbye. If you hablo español y no hablo inglés. Adios, uh, sorry, um, goodbye is adios in español. Ta-ta.